With winter now over, we headed back down from the mountains to defrost by the coast with plenty of surf, plenty of sun, and plenty of seafood. Well, that's the current wave situation. Zero, so we're not surfing. I'm gonna go in here, right on top of high tide at the moment. So, my flippers, got my goggles. Go for a little dive. Swim around while we have this big new episode. So I've got to keep busy, or else I get bored. We don't want that. Let's go. I'm officially too cold. Finally found a spot that's pretty much out of the wind. Sun's out. I'm just gonna sit here for 10 minutes and warm up a little bit, defrost, and then head back, cook up some lunch, pack up the van, head to Bateman's Bay, go hopefully stock up on some fish, some oysters, some mussels, pretty much everything from the sea. We're gonna see how much food we can get there. All right, so after our little dive earlier, come into Bateman's Bay. As you can see, stunning. Then we're gonna get some Taylor, hopefully. And then once the tide drops, about seven o'clock tonight, we go on a bit of a scavenge and see if we can't get some oysters and mussels. So it's dark now, I didn't get any fish. So the tide's low, it's time to roll up the trackies, put on the booties, and go and get some oysters, hopefully. Oyster removing tools. Down the honey hole, this rock is just completely covered in massive mussels. So mussel and oyster collecting was extremely successful. I got like 30 of each, I had 50, but 30 completely filled my buckets. But I did put it on the line, getting sliced up bloody all over my hands from the oysters. I'm gonna risk it if you wanna feed it now. Man, I have food for at least the next three days. Good times, keep rolling. Alright, uh, so this morning, I'm going to give you a little run through of my morning routine of what I do when I get up at about 6 o'clock. First thing I do, make a cuppa, step out of the van, oh, probably step in some kangaroo shit or something. <laughs> and then it's down to the beach. There's my warm-up complete, nothing too rigorous, just to get moving, wake up, and now it's time to go jump in the water. Water's about 12 degrees down here, so definitely not as cold as when we're in the snow, but still enough to do the trick. So let's go for a swim. Now it's time to finish that cuppa. After we have our swim, coffee and warm up. CBD oil time. 100 milligrams CBD per day I think. Enough to make you in a good mood. Sort out any swelling and inflammation, pain, you know. CBD is just all around brilliant for recovery, so. 
take a mill of that. And it tastes awesome, so. Good to go. And then next step of the day, get this little worm out of bed and take him to the beach. Let's go. And then we start running. <laughs> well, I start running, he stops to pee. He wants to, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. All right, after we run Snoop, it's time to wake up the third one. This one can be a little more difficult, so let's see. You gonna wake her up? She's already awake. And now when she gets moving, we go and find waves. We go to check where we're gonna surf. So we pull up Windy. And we check what the wind's doing. What it's going to do for the rest of the day. That light southeasterlies, tending easterly. The waves. Two meters of southeast swell. Fading during the day. So that's just how we find where we're going to get a rough idea of the spots to check for the day. So now, let's get on the road and go check them. Oh yeah, what's going on guys? <laughs> he must be so mangled up in there. Look at where his look at where his legs are and look at where his head is. You wanna come check the surf? Come on, let's go. This beach is named Pretty Beach. Looks pretty shitty today though. <laughs> Death slab out on the point. Little shorey there, but that breeze is still up a bit. We need that breeze to pip off. But the waves are not amazing. No, they are not indeed. What do you guys reckon? Shit. We need to go find a little corner. It's out of the wind somewhere. Mm -hmm. And after our surf, we've got some oysters for lunch. Cook up some bacon, a bit of Kilpatrick sauce in a pan. Been preferring in the pan over the shells lately. Don't know why. And now to make our Kilpatrick sauce. Barbecue, Worcestershire, Tabasco. And that is the perfect after surf snack right there. That is honestly 
10 out of 10 lunch. Might have to go get me some more oysters when I run out in about two days because I could eat this for lunch every day. Plus I gotta have this again for dinner with fresh Taylor. Not for you. Doing it rough, I tell you. I'm probably gonna have to have a beer with it as well. Mm. Fucking hell. Don't know how I go on keep living this life like this. How good is this? No one out. Traffic little peaks. See a big tree? Ready. Are you ready? So we've received a hot tip of some friends we met at the beach that apparently just up this hill is the second largest gum tree. Oldest gum tree. Oldest, maybe largest. Well, if it's the oldest, it's got to be the largest gum tree in Australia. All right, and here it is. The oldest gum tree in Australia. Dragon. Nah, just kidding. This is more like it. Yeah. Is that it? Yep, I think so. Here's me. I'm five foot four. So that means the tree is at least me. At least eight and a half feet by my measurements. <laughs> Now, if you get off on trees, if you're like one of those Burke's backyard enthusiast, better homes and gardens fanatics, this is like Christmas for you because this tree, 500 years old. This tree has had to watch everyone that it's ever loved die. <laughs> yeah, Wipes over there on the ground. Yeah, there's his ex Misso. She carked it. That'll teach her. So we've made base camp for the night, gonna have a fire tonight, so 
first job is to go and collect a bit of firewood. That's enough to get us started. There we go, this is fire pit. This is firewood. All right, here we have my dinner. All those oysters shucked up. Fire's looking pretty good for cooking on. And here we have the main course, big rump steak. My goodness, this is gonna be out of control. So, uh, one of these muscles are hit, eh? Little crunchy bits. 